Okay, so today I'm going to just be giving some homeschool tips, um, specifically on the legal aspects of it. So one thing with homeschooling that you want to make sure that you are aware of are the laws in that state in which you live in, which you choose to homeschool in. So the best place to look, which I've been using for years, and I will show you now, <laughs> is hslda.org. Now this is a great, great website because it doesn't just have the legal aspects of it, but it also has like, just say if you um, would like grants for homeschooling, if you're a military family, different homeschool groups, uh, contests, just a lot of different things that you can apply for. Um, but if you do wanna look at the legal aspects of it, you would just click on the legal tab. excuse me, apologize, not just click on it, you just wanna go over to it. And would you actually click on this state homeschool laws, that's what you'll click on. And there it will provide a map of all the states. And you just wanna click the state that you live in. Now, as you see, it's all different uh, color coded for specific reasons. Um, so the ones that are green are the no notice, low regulation. The light blues are low regulation states the darker blues, moderate regulation, and the red states are high regulation. So um, another thing to be mindful of is just, you know, we'll just go for, uh, just say Georgia and Florida. Just because they are both uh, low regulation states, it doesn't mean that they have the same type of uh, regulations just because they're both low regulation. So I can click on a high, high regulation state just so you can get an idea of what that looks like. Okay, so here it just gives you a glance of the uh, requirements of what's required within that state. And to get the full detail, you want to click on this. And so for Pennsylvania, it has four options. And so if you choose to homeschool under the homeschool statute, you would just click on that. And there it will provide everything that you need that's required under option number one. So this is one with a higher regulated state. You require a lot more. It's a little bit more detailed. Okay. And so I guess I'll just show a no notice, low regulated state. I guess we can go to Idaho just so you can see the difference. Um, you can see that there's a lot more no's for the requirements. And if I were to click on the complete detail, there's actually just two requirements to make sure you have an instructor and make sure that you're teaching the required subjects. So like I said, you wanna double check your, your state laws just so that you don't have any issues when it comes to the state when you go to homeschool. And like I said, that website, once again, is uh, hslda.org. 